I would say at this point that there probably are more people with visual impairments than there are folks with um, total vision loss. But the things that govern the success of those folks to use a website is the same thing that governs uh, the success of people who are totally blind. So accessibility is a sort of a one-size-fits-all uh, descriptor based on any, any kind of vision loss you may have, whether it's slight or a lot. Um, the program you're going to hear this morning is a program called JAWS. It is a screen reader. And the acronym stands for Job Access with Speech. Can you say that again, please? Job Access with Speech. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell the computer that I want to run the show from the keyboard. By the way, you all are noticing there is no mouse up here. Or maybe there is, but <laughs> it doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. OK? So everything I'm going to do will be from the keyboard. Windows N. I. Enter. Windows Internet Explorer, connecting dot dot dot. Page has five minutes and 61 links. Home dash Cleveland site center in home. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to move on to the website where, where we have some issues. Control O, open dialog, type the internet address of a document or volt S. U, P, D, O, R, T, period, A, S, U, S, period, C, O, M. Enter. Can you uh, adjust the speed 100%. that that's writing, reading? Uh, I, I'm leaving it at this rate for Page a reason. Page 46 links, a sus TK, a sus TK. Let me explain why, OK? Yes, I could slow the speech down so all of you could understand it. Um, but it's not important that you understand it. I was just wondering if you could understand it. Oh, absolutely. Okay. This is slow to me. Okay. <laughs> I made a technique where I can go directly to a link. Links list dialog, links list view, images list. And I'm shutting him up again. D, download product files, drivers, user manuals, and utilities here. See? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay. There's a whole lot of links there, but I picked the one I wanted. How did okay. you? How? 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 I did it. I did it through the use of a keystroke. I, I did two keystrokes. One that said, please alphabetize all the links on a page. And then I pressed the letter D because I knew that the link I wanted started with the letter D, which Very was. Cool. I, I recently purchased an ASUS netbook, okay. and it came with XP Home, and about a week and a half ago, they released drivers for Windows 7. And I wanted to be able to go get those drivers for Windows 7. So I went to this website, and I went to the place where I'm about to go get to these drivers, and you're going to experience the same thing that I did when I tried to do this. You're going to see the parts that worked, and you're going to see the parts that didn't. And I'm hoping to be able to show you the, the frustration along the way. <laughs> and by the way, you probably don't know this, but there's actually a keyboard command inside Internet Explorer that would allow you to alphabetize your links too, not that you'd ever need to. It's just a different way of doing business, but it gets us down the road, right? Yeah. Your vision allows you to select the area of the screen you need. This allows me to do it by character. Enter. 100%. 100%. All right. Now we have... I Page has two frames and 52 link. Shush. Thank you. Wow. All right. Now, now you have a screen that's going to allow me to, to tell it what model of, of a netbook I have and what operating system I'm using so it can give me drivers. Now, there are controls on this page that are form controls that I need to access to get to these controls. Thus far, all these controls work fine, and I'll show you what I mean. There's a command in JAWS where I'm going to press that says, take me to the first form control. And I'm going to continue to hit that command until I get to the to the form control that I'm looking for, and you're going to say, well, how did you know which one you were looking for? I've been on this site a few times. <laughs> OK? And one thing you're going to realize about people who are blind or visually impaired, you develop memories of sites you, you work with often. You have to. If you, if you didn't, you'd be there all day looking for stuff. Uh, other websites where I wanted to download a file, it's all conventional HTML. 
I can find the links, I can press enter. If there's a download button like the Microsoft site oftentimes has, I can find the button, hit the download, get the file. I'm a happy camper. Here's the other side of the coin. Alt F4, E, W, E, G, G, period, C, O, N. One of my favorite sites where I like to spend money. Enter. 2%. 100%. Newit.com dash computer parts, PC components, laptop computers, digital cameras, and more. 100 Newit. Now, listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a search. Search site edit. Enter. Search site edit. Search site. Type of text. And I'm going to search for netbook. N E T B O O K. Enter. 95%. Newit.com dash netbook. As a C E E P C M S I Win. Acer S I One. H D Mini Gold. Lenovo Idea Pad S Ten. Cloud Code. Intel Atom. Page has two frames. Twenty eight edits and one hundred ninety seven links. Newit.com dash net netbook comma. All right. You heard a bunch of do it. And I will tell you something else too. I have credit cards, and I have money on those credit cards. And if I go to a website that I can't access, they don't get my money. <laughs> so let's. I mean, we can talk about the right thing to do, but let's talk about the thing that drives it most of the time. Dollars. And I guess the only other thing I want to say is if you're thinking about Flash, don't. 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 <laughs> uh, it, it, it's a pain. And now, of course, I mean, the folks, the folks at Adobe will tell you that you can have accessible Flash. And there is a website called access.adobe.com. And if you want to read about how to construct Flash that can be accessible, please enjoy. <laughs> but in, in, in my opinion, uh, and I think I'm reflecting the sense of a lot of users, we just assume not have to deal with it if we had a choice. So.